dropped out of their yeah. plane. We'll have to see where the teams actually drop. As we can see, Mr. Hyozu and DC has also dropped out of their plane. P and Gaming would also like to drop to their area. And Puchinki. Oh, El Elementrix, instead of the military zone, they are heading to the northern part of the map. This game just got a lot more interesting because most of the teams are avoiding Novo, are avoiding military base. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is just going to be incredible. I think this is going to be the best game we have casted so far because the cluster has formed over towards the side of Milta and I think the fights are going to start at any given second now. And Elementrix, along with DE, once again, are moves, moving towards that prison sort of an area but we have to see are they gonna move to the school right. apartments mansion or Yasna? a team that goes to Zarki is going to military base yeah. for some reason I mean each and every and the zone is military zone this is a military zone this is gonna be something really really different and crazy for the first time Elementrix is not going to a drop location and the zone goes there that's different a rising Nepal is once again looking for a fight DC is looking for a fight and DC is looking really, really confident right now we'll have to see which team actually takes out the best of this fight as DC is being surrounded by the players of rising Nepal from two directions Prerak and Alex YT on on the other side of road since he is on 75 HP right now. Sonam can actually spot him, but, the so but then Sonam has been spotted. He is down to 10 HP right now, trying to go for a safer spot, a safer area where they can just locate themselves. We'll have to see how the fights just go, as Rising Nepal is kind of at a bad spot right oh, now. The players from the side of DC, they are chasing Sonam. How long can this man survive? His teammates are quite behind. Oh, Adam with the shots coming in. Get the nade is going to blow on him and Adam is going to get knocked down. That was he just flinched a little bit. He flinched for a percent health. On the other side, Anik, he is still pretty healthy. But let's look, have a look at the top damage dealers for now. R3D Private leading the charge with 407 damage. DC Sincere sitting at 392. A1 Esports Sinister at 391. But JM Wang right now is on a domination. Has three kills for himself. But DE rated sir. Did he spot the players from the side of Elementrix on the other side? They have to be careful about that. They have made their way from the Nova Bridge and are now in those compounds. You guys can see them. But DE, they have the advantage of the ditch. But the cover is just not going to be available if they actually get backstabbed now. Elementrix is still looking at a good spot right now as we just saw them earlier. A1 Esports is stranger. The solo survivor from A1 Esports just surviving for his team. Has a 9mm loot right now. Tito Gepolihan takes down Jan Mara Sonim as the fights are still happening. Salty and DC. These guys can get engaged with uh, each and everyone if they, if they you know, just try to go for it as the zone. It's going to approximatize circle right now. So, Derusin and Extreme are moving, but Derusin has been spotted. A lot of damage has been dealt, but Extreme takes on Sincere, takes on Steelix. OP in just one spray. Two players have been taken down. AJ is ready for Pro Noob and Atom, but this gives time for Nima to just move in forward. That movement can actually make or break the game for them as they have spotted one more player. Atom is low on HP right now. Atom is taking the zone damage, and so is Pro Noob right now as they were trying to overcome it outside the circle. And Atom gets spotted by Salty Nima. DC Sincere is down. DC Steelix OP is down. Pro Noob and one more player is out there but then are uh, they gonna go for it as Atom actually takes a fall as well Pro Noob will be going for a revive but just two more seconds and the zone comes in Salty Nima just moves in forward just rushes in charges in right now to take the fight in their hands and two players have obliterated the competition and I think damn class yes they get eliminated as, a, as just two players take everything in okay. their hands. Elementrix need to be in the top three. Just reach the top three to make it into the top 16 because they need 10 points, right? Yeah. They are sitting at 117. The team in front of them is 126. Yeah. And they do not... Wolves, uh, Den is the team there. And they do not have any more games remaining. They have already played all their games. So Elementrix, they just need to hide and make it into the top three. We are down to the eight teams. We are down to the seven teams and Elementrix is still surviving. Wives was a team that was taken out they are still they are still being safe this could actually work out for the squad and but still now in out the in the center. open they have to watch out for the bait shagar is going to be knocked down this could not go in their favor mr yuzu is so so low only the man that's left standing but the revives are going to come in so dj with atm 67 go for it if that shot lands, one more shot, if that lands, I think that's going to be the end of 1971. But meanwhile, Elementrix is always takes down one player. And this six times player was incredible from yeah. his side. I mean, when, when you just crouch on that something, and he strips it to rate it, sir. And once more, A1, like that six times player going out there. And Poo Man finishes Illusion, sir. 97 goes down. But look at that. This is one bad thing about the bridge circle. Rising Nepal's just players that are out there. That's going to be something. And Elementrix. Three more teams get. Elementrix.
three more teams get eliminated eliminated if, now and they make it if three more teams gets eliminated they are going to make it they have two points already yeah, shan mara is out there with seven points solti squad with five points and dead eyes guys is out there with six points who is going to end their day with a chicken dinner who is going to be the team that dominates the end of the day that is a big question in the minds of everyone just guys comment down your favorite team if that is alive out there and if you think that elementrix is going to make it out there jan mara is out there for a back stab soon in yeah. just reaches real really close to elementrix's players chala and wong are also coming out they will have to see what happens in this fight but elementrix shagar is moving for look at this look at this look at this extreme extreme is really oh close to oh boy oh boy he knows <laughs> like you can just go there and literally say hi how are you doing bro how was your performance like that is something that's out there happening i mean What? <laughs> <laughs> Both of them are like, all right, let's just chill here. I won't tell my teammates that you're here. <laughs> all right. Imagine if Salty is there. They just uh, they just give the information. But meanwhile, yeah. this is an important one. As Elementrix needs to make their way, Jian Maras, Sonim, right up front. T2K Poli hung in behind that area, and Salty Nima trying to make up their perfect wave. As if they want to get inside the zone. As the zone is just shifted right now, the zone favors Elementrix. The zone favors Jian Mara. Rest all other four teams are outside. the circle what's going to happen as the countdown enters 3 2 1 and the zone just barely starts to move and so do people so do people start to move start to drive start to swim let's see what happens yeah we have to see what's going to happen jan mara right on the sea show they are going to take some damage from the players on the bridge but elementrix orange and mr yozu are going to go in on players on the bridge salty squad was the players they are going to drop a few and pupu man is going to drop extreme rus and the only man left standing for the side of salty squad t2 gay being taken out just one more team leaves the game and elementrix they make it dead eye guys was taken out as well salty nima being taken out yozu is going to drop de irate it's and i think elementrix by now they do have enough points to actually make We will have to see that at the end, and how many kills they have. We yeah. will have to see that at the end because right now, eight just, and five. All yes. right, they yes. have made it, but then let's see if they get a chicken dinner or not because they have done a lot of homework for this situation, for this scenario right now. You can see four teams out of those four. One is inside water. That is Sonam and Prerak. They cannot pop their heads out. Will they be given their kill? Solti Rusin is moving forward. The solo survivor from Solti Squad right now with just barely twenty HP has only four state of bandages. Will he be able to go for it? Is trying to spot some players as well as Elementrix has all their four players left when. Then Rusen, that should not have happened out there. He just gave up his location, and that is going to be the end of him as Elementrix Boom Man takes down the kill, and Sonam goes down. As this is going to this, this is going to be a four v three situation if anything happens. As R and Sonam goes down, Prerak still inside the water area, the water woods. We'll have to see what happens as Elementrix is Mr. Hughes who goes down by J M Wang. Will Jan Mara go for a push right now? Pupu Man is low on HP right now, really, really low. Orange also goes down. Pupu Man and Shagar, two players remaining. One has a seventy five HP. It's Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Wong also goes down. The grenades are coming handy. This grenade can do everything. As Orange is low on HP right now, Shagar still sitting at the back end of the fight. And look at Prerak. No one just spotted him. He has covered the all the whole distance of this river right now and is ready for a backstab. This can change everything for Elementrix as well as he can go for an easy backstab on Jan Maras to Chala. The factor is. Will he spot them? Yeah, will he spot them? Prada can chase these entire situation. Elmetrix can get the chicken dinner in the last game, but Prada has to go on the move now. He is going on the move. Tachala, if he gets taken out, the players from the side of Janmara they will get distracted, and Elmetrix will have an opportunity to go in then. But Prada, will he engage in combat? Because Tachala is so so close to him. The fight is happening right on the river bank. Elmetrix going for a wrap on on the players of uh, Janmara right on the other side of this oh. rock. is wang shagar he fires the shot misses a few but shagar is going to be taken down slowly but the players are there he has his team it's two players been taken down sonim is going to be taken down and jen mara gets wiped out in an instant now prerak is the only man left standing between elementrix and the chicken dinner and it is going to be a one versus four fight while two of the players from the side of elementrix are really really low he was going for his grenade what did he just he was just pulling yeah. the pin for himself i am not giving kill or something because he's outside the circle 30 minute 30 meters is the distance that he has to get inside the circle i don't think so he's going to go for it because he is just going to be out there he has no first aid his vest is totally damaged his helmet is 50% damaged and the grenade is for him i think so or does he has a fight left in him he is still thinking having second thoughts about the fight or what uh, that is one thing that i want to see because elementrix is ready for it prada will he going is he going to go for his grenade or is he going to go for someone else that is one thing that we'll have to see the circle is just going to touch him i think the circle has just touched him so that's going to be something he's going to lose health points as well as right now he is outside the circle just going to stay here is going to yeah, down yeah he is a dot right now in the <laughs> Face of Elementrix and he ends the game outside the play zone, rising Nepal, finishing second. But Elementrix, yeah, 
first position and with that and Poopoo man stepped up big five kills for the guy Elementrix with a total of eight kills 28 points in total and Ocean you finally get a for victory for the first time my yeah. predictions are right I'm, and, and I'm that, happy that too uh, that was supposed to be the hardest one <laughs> I'm gone <laughs> what can I say I'm gone dude uh, the ratios are my favorite it's three to one so <laughs> I <laughs>